How much weight do people lose after bariatric surgery? Hey everybody, in this video, we're going to answer that question. This really is a follow-up video to the previous video we did on weight loss injections and how successful or unsuccessful they are. Today, we're basing the answer to that question on a paper published in the New England Journal of Medicine in 2017. It's entitled, Weight and Metabolic Outcomes 12 Years After Gastric Bypass. This is by Ted D. Adams, PhD, and co-authors, they followed bariatric surgery patients for 12 years. Now, these patients had the gastric bypass, or so ruin y gastric bypass. In this study, the researchers followed 418 patients who had gastric bypass. Uh, in the control group, there were 417 uh, comparable patients who didn't have surgery. They followed them for 12 years. And what really is astounding for this study is they had a 90% follow-up rate. In other words, at 12 years, 90% of their subjects or patients were still enrolled in the study and had current follow-up. That is almost unheard of. That is a tremendously powerful study, making the results more valid. Now, the average or mean beginning weight in this study was 292 pounds or 133 kilograms. Uh, so the starting weight in this study is a little heavier than the previous studies uh, looking at the weight loss injections. You recall in those studies uh, with semaglutide, after four years, the average weight loss was 10% of body weight. That was four years. In this study, 12 years, the average weight loss at 12 years was 26.9% of total body weight. So essentially three times the amount of weight lost over three times the length of time. It's pretty impressive. If you look at absolute numbers for weight loss, two years after surgery, uh, the average weight that had been lost was 100 pounds or 45 kilograms. So on average, people had gone from 292 pounds to 192 pounds. At six years, the average weight loss was 80 pounds. So on average, people gained about 20 pounds of the 100 lost over the first uh, six years. At 12 years, the average weight loss was 77 pounds. So they gained um, 23 pounds of the initial 100 lost. Those are significant results. 12 years after surgery, on average, people had kept off 77 pounds. So they had gone from 292 pounds to 215 pounds. For roughly 20 years, the gastric bypass was the standard of care. Now the most commonly performed operation for obesity is the sleeve gastrectomy. How does the sleeve gastrectomy fare to the gastric bypass? Some studies show it uh, very comparable. Others show that the gastric bypass results in a bit more long-term weight loss, somewhere in the range of 5% but largely they're comparable. Studies have shown that of people who qualify for bariatric surgery, less than 1% end up having surgery. And this is something that's really important to know for people who struggle with weight to know, and even physicians, that the most effective therapy is extremely underutilized. And this is even more the case uh, with these injections. So it's worthwhile to look at how do these two interventions compare? And really, it's quite clear, bariatric surgery is the most successful intervention for obesity, not just at one year or two years, but at 12 years, it's not even close. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.